Hello and welcome to the Golden Silver Club Week Ahead Commodity Report, the non-members edition for the 7th to the 11th of August 2017, presented by myself, Phil Carr, at the Gold and Silver Club. Today we will be analysing the latest developments in the commodity markets and discussing our outlook for the week ahead. The live session will be covering Commodity Market Outlook, a snapshot of the latest developments, Trade Watch List, our trade idea for the week, a review of our recent top trades using our exclusive research-driven strategies. Let me introduce you to the Gold and Silver Club. The Gold and Silver Club is regarded as the go-to authority on commodities trading. As internationally respected experts, our analysis and our opinions on the metals, the energies and the agricultural markets, they are routinely sought by major financial television channels and publications which include Bloomberg, Reuters, CNBC, The Financial Times, The Wall Street Journal. Our team of experts has trained and mentored over 100,000 private traders from all over the world to increase their wealth and generate substantial income through commodities using our exclusive research driven strategies. For further information on the Gold and Silver Club and our expertise, please do visit www.thegoldensilverclub.com. Commodity Market Outlook, a snapshot of the latest developments. The headline news last week was non-farm payroll. The data which came out on Friday certainly caused some big market volatility. Gold fell 1% after previously breaching seven-week highs. Silver was down 2% after positive US jobs data. Gold fell from seven-week highs as the US dollar surged from multi-month lows after monthly US non-farm payroll data was better than expected. US non-farm payrolls rose 209,000 in July with employee hourly earnings rising 0.3%. Expectations were for 190,000 increase. Essentially, in the US, employers hired more workers in the month of July and raised their hourly earnings by the most in five months. Now, the strong rise in non-farm payrolls together with the backdrop in the unemployment rate to a joint 16-year low suggests the Fed will still need to raise rates again later this year, even if inflation remains Remain subdued. Gold fell to 1,258 US dollars per ounce, its lowest level since July the 28th, while silver dropped to $16.27 per ounce. So as we go into next week, we will be watching gold very carefully here. Gold today is still hovering near two-week lows, whilst the US dollar has remained supported by the expectations of monetary tightening in the US following the stronger than expected jobs data last week. So with that, we'll move over to the charts and we'll talk you through our trade ideas for the week. Our trade idea for the week is going to be focused on the precious metals. We'll take a look at both gold and silver and essentially we're looking for more downside here as we enter a fresh week. So the US dollars breakout and surge last week off the back of the non-farm payrolls has continued to remain steady here into the Monday open as well. So currently gold is hovering around two week lows. The US dollar is remaining well supported after the non-farm payroll data from Friday and you can see here right now we've gapped slightly lower from the Sunday open here on gold. Gold has in fact also broken through a major underlying trend channel which was supporting the price going back to mid-July. You have to remember gold has had quite a significant rally here from July. It's broken out to seven week highs. It rallied just above the 1200 level all the way up to the 1270 level within a matter of three weeks and it's got short term overbought now and we've also got the fundamental backdrop which is becoming more gold bearish short term here as we've seen US dollar strength and I would suggest at the moment you can see right now on the chart where gold is currently trading at 1,256 US dollars per ounce it has the potential for a more significant corrective pullback so really the trade idea this week is looking to sell into gold here and take advantage of additional momentum to the downside on Friday we had a lower high a lower close and also a lower low gold failed to get a bid around the 1260 zone it has subsequently broken through that major underlying level of support it has also closed back below the 21 day moving average here which you've seen into the close here on Friday and we had a number of highs here which failed to get breached off the back of non-farm payrolls and we're also coming out of an overbought condition so it's not really too surprising here to see some traders banking their profits on the long side and we could see more liquidation of long positions as we continue to progress during this week. On Friday gold drop 1%, silver drop 2% and if we have a look at the next major levels where we could look at gold potentially coming to in the days to come, first of all, 
I would look for a revisit of the 1250 zone. That would be the next major underlying level of support for gold here. And then below that, I would be looking for a potential revisit of 1,240 US dollars per ounce, which would represent a 50% retracement from the recent swing low up into the recent swing high where we breached the seven week highs. That would represent a 50% corrective pullback. So essentially looking for gold here to come back towards the 1250 to the 1240 zone short term. And that is really the trade idea that we're looking at on gold at the moment, the potential for a more significant pullback here in the days to come. If we have a look at silver, Silver has actually already broken below Friday's non-farm payroll lows here. Silver dropped 2% was a more significant pullback on silver. I also like silver for a sell short opportunity here as well. The gold to silver ratio right now actually favours more weakness on silver versus gold at the moment. And silver has had the more significant decline off the back of the non-farm payroll data. So silver has broken down over 2% on Friday off the back of the non-farm payrolls. And you can see here quite clearly, we've also got a V-shaped reversal pattern set up we have a bearish engulfing candle which developed off the back of friday's non-farm payroll data and again in terms of the next major levels i'm looking at here on silver first level would be a move back towards the $15.90 per ounce level. Silver is currently trading at $16.17 per ounce. And then the next major level below that would be approximately $15.55 per ounce here on silver. And you can see already where the momentum is starting to pick up to the downside. Very little retracement here, in fact, over the course of the Asia Pacific session. Silver's not really getting a bid at these levels. We're continuing to see a liquidation of positions from investors as the US dollar continues to also gain strength so with that there are a couple of trade ideas for you on both gold and silver as we head into a fresh week here as always if you would like access to our daily live trade ideas at the gold and silver club including our exact entry exit and take profit on every single trade that we take make sure you stay on to the end of today's session and we'll provide you with full details of how you can make an application and become a member of the gold and silver club Top trades of the week using our exclusive research-driven strategies. Last week, we banked our long position on silver for 105 points profit. And in fact, we've actually reversed position now on this trade where we're looking to take advantage of short-term momentum to the downside on the precious metals. So on Friday, taking advantage of a breakdown in price here for gold, banking 130 points profit. And as we've highlighted in today's report, we do see the potential for more weakness in the precious metals here as we head into a fresh week. And we've also capitalized on another breakdown on the grains here, banking 220 points profit on our wheat sell short. Would you like to join an elite community of profitable traders? Get exclusive daily live trade ideas and analysis, accelerate your trading skills and generate a consistent income. Whether you're a new trader or an experienced trader and you're looking to take your trading to that next level, the private members live trading room is definitely for you. Private members get access to the following. You have access to our exclusive live trading room webinars. You can watch the Gold and Silver Club expert traders analyze the markets right in front of you, picking out the best trades, sharing our exact entry, exit, profit and stop loss targets on each position, as well as walk you through every actionable trading idea step by step ready to implement for instant results. You receive real-time trade alerts delivered via email and SMS where you get the exact buy and sell alerts along with suggested entry, exit, profit targets. All trade alerts are sent out in advance notice to make sure you have plenty of time to get into each trade at the best price for maximum profits. You also get exclusive access to our proprietary trading research to help you make smarter, well-informed trading decisions. Our unique insights and analysis ensures that you're well-equipped with the most accurate technical and fundamental information you need to identify market trends early, predict future price movements, and act on every trading decision with confidence. The private members live trading room includes exclusive live trading room webinars with interactive Q&A, daily live actionable trade ideas shared with you ready to implement, real-time trade alerts delivered instantly via email and SMS, exact details of where we enter, where we exit and place a stop loss on each trade, access to our private members live trading room forum, ongoing support and mentoring to help you achieve long-term success and exclusive access to our proprietary trading research and market intelligence to give you the ultimate edge in the markets. To get exclusive access to our private members live trading room, please go to www.jointhegoldensilverclub.com, complete the application form and we will get in touch with you ASAP.